Well, he'd probably struggle, uh -huh. uh, if I'm honest, but he would find a way, is what I would say. He would find a way, because to me, he was always one step ahead. Uh -huh. So it's like he went into an interview with, say, Brian Moore, an old commentator, and it's like he knew what he was going to say because he had the answers ready. So I always say he was always one step ahead and he would have probably adapted to how it is now to be one step ahead, is my opinion. Yeah. Um, well, it, it, for, for the start off, he wouldn't speak to agents, you know. Um, so <laughs> that's going to be struggle number one, isn't it? You know, it, it, his attitude was, if you don't want to play for me, go and play for someone else if you want to bring an agent. And it happened with Franz Carr. Franz Carr, I think his dad was acting as one of the first agents to, to support Franz and he wouldn't speak to him because his, atti his attitude was, why would you have someone representing you who knows nothing about football? <laughs> That's what he'd say. No, no he, he, he wouldn't do it. He, he just would not entertain an agent. So if, if you had one and you was wasting your time, but I think agents were only just coming into it as he was finishing anyway. So, it never it never became a problem it would have been interesting to see oh god i think he'd be president now it definitely it'd definitely be uh it'd be definitely trying to be anyway put it Wait, that way. Someone, yeah i think you do a good job <laughs>